Now I'm going to introduce you to the ultimate knife fighting technique. Works first time, every time. Incapacitates the opponent, gives you the chance to get out of dodge, okay? He can't chase after you after this one. Remember when I talked about the element of surprise? It's a perfect, perfect example of how that works in your favor. I'm squared off against the bad guy. I come in, I take his leg out. He's not going to be able to chase after me. I don't have to fight him anymore. I can get away. Cut the back of his leg. Cut the tendons back here. He's going to drop, okay? That allows me to get up, get out of here. He can't chase me. I don't have to stay and fight him. Took the back of his leg. Cut the tendons right here. Took him down immediately. He can't chase me. I don't have to stay and fight him. I know people can fight with one arm, but I've never known anybody who can fight with one leg. Element of surprise. Now, if I... Here's how we break this down. I'm squared off against him. We're all very serious. The nerves are up. Adrenaline's been dumped. Everything's edgy. Boom, boom, boom. Everything's moving at super high speed. I throw a fake. Boom! I throw a, just a, a loud noise and a fake to go up. I just want him to react a little bit up top so he's not hunched over like this. He rears back just a little bit. I dive in. If I miss, I can just take him down with a single leg takedown, right? but I have a knife in my hand. I fake, boom, he reacts. I come in, knife goes around the back of his knee. I push in against his thigh and firm against the back of his Achilles and pull the knife out as he's going down. Right? Now, will I get the knee every time? No, doesn't matter. If I come in, I fake up, he moves back a little bit, I don't get the knee, he moves back, all I get is the Achilles tendon down here, boom! I'm going to take the Achilles tendon. He still will not be able to get up, he still will not be able to chase me. Right? I fake up, boom, I go in, I don't get the knee, I get closer up here to the back of the thigh, I'll take the cut on the thigh. Wow. Again, if I cut three or four inches deep into this muscle right here, he's going to go down. He will not be able to chase me. Very, very, very effective technique. Look at what happens. I'm down here. What I've done now, yes, he can stab me in the back. Go ahead and pretend to stab me, Mike. Boom, he can hit me really hard. But the thing is, we're not stopping. We're not moving in slow motion. When I come in and I hit him, and I'm not going to hit you hard, Mike, but I just, I'm just going to show it. When I come in and hit him, and I go wham, I come in going wham, and I hit him hard, and I blow him to the ground. There's no way on earth, when he is being smashed to the ground with a safety blitz, or a linebacker coming straight up the middle, that he's going to be thinking about stabbing me as he is being smashed into the ground. The only thing that's going to happen is his hands are going to go out like this to break his fall. Okay? Remember these points. These are the things that you can use against your opponent. All right, now I'm going to start taking you through some of the double knife techniques. Uh, we're going to take them through against common uh, attacks. And I'm going to show you some of the uh, different things that you can do if you have two knives in your hand. So at this point, uh, Mike is going to throw a jab, and I'm going to just show what are the possibilities, what is the real true story about having two knives in your hand. What can you do with this active and passive defense when you have two knives in your hand? You'll, you're going to see right away that an active defense becomes an active offense because there is, when you have two knives, Every place you touch is going to get cut. There really is no defense. Even though I might be deflecting something, 
it's become an offensive move, and you're going to see it right away. So I'm going to show you a, a, a technique against the jab. Again, we're using the same strokes that we used in the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, only now we're doing them at the same time in tandem. So you're going to see, when you look at these, if you run this in slow motion and you watch what's going on, I'm using those same five striking techniques, only now I'm using them with both hands, each one with a knife in it. All right? Now Mike's going to throw a jab, and I'm going to go through this real slowly so that you, you get the understanding of what's going on because it's a little tough to see these sometimes because uh, they're, they're small knives, number one, and things get going a little quick. So as Mike throws a jab, I deflect with this knife right here. Boom. Just like I'm deflecting, getting ready to throw a punch. So he throws a jab. I deflect. What happens at that time, this knife comes down in a simultaneous action. Okay? He throws a punch. Boom. So what we've got going is a deflection and a strike. Bang. My next move is this knife comes up and across. This knife comes down and across. Boom. This is the action that we're going to get. One. Boom. That's what's going on so far. He throws a jab. Wow. Double cut right there, last cut, number five across, okay? So what we get is a total of one, two, three, four, five cuts, all in a very short period of time. Okay, we'll show that to you from the other side. Nice and slow, so you got a picture up from this side too. He throws a jab, deflect and cut. Boom. Knives are here, ready to cross cut again. Boom. I'm in close. I step through with a number five. One more time. Double knife technique against the jab. I'm going to show you another variation on a defense against a jab. And this time, we're talking about integrating some of the spinning drills that we were doing, how those might be used in a combat situation. This is one, okay? Mike is going to throw a jab. Now, I'll show you that slowly. He throws a jab. I jam in. I deflect. Again, my hands aren't moving anywhere. Real short, efficient moves. This is naturally poised. Come right up against the bicep. This hand's up here, just follows over, wraps, the cut comes up, knife spun around, boom, it's right here at the bottom of his throat. You can hook it right up underneath the chin right there, and you can leave this guy around wherever you want. Okay? I guarantee it's going to take the fight out of him. Now I'm going to show you a uh, double knife technique with a saber grip against a cross. Okay, now, what's happening there is Mike throws this cross, I'm deflecting here, getting a cut. Boom! Bang! It's almost like a snake bite, but it's hitting hard here. This knife's going in, making a cut following through, so he throws the punch, boom, I deflect and cut, wham, I'm getting two cuts at the same time. This knife's following through, this knife's coming down, across, this knife's coming back up, real slowly, boom, 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 one, two, three, four cuts. Okay, we're going to switch to the other side. Slowly. Bam. One, two, three, four. Bam. 
double knife technique against the cross. This is a double knife technique in the saber grip against the hook. Mike throws the hook. Now, real slowly, here's what's going on. He's coming out with a hook. I've got a double knife cut coming down here. Boom. So we're getting two cuts for the price of one. <clears throat> one motion there. Since my hands are crossed like this, and this is going to carry through a little bit, these two are coming back to cut here. We're getting four cuts. Bang. Bang. Boom. And from this point forward, I can just continue wherever I want to go. Slowly again. Bang. Boom. One more time slowly. Boom. Now his arm's going to carry through when he throws that punch. We're going to speed it up just a little bit. So his arm's going to kind of carry through and you'll see what's happening here. I'm just going slow to demonstrate it so you guys can kind of pick up what the motions are. And really what they are is from here, short. Crisscross cut like this. Boom. Cross that hook as it's coming out. My hands are right here. Boom. 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 A little bit faster. Okay, we're going to switch to the other side. Show it slow. He throws a hook. Boom. Oh, cut here. Boom. Oh, carry on to there. Bang. Bang. Four cuts. Speed it up a little bit. Double knife against the hook. Four cuts, two motions. <laughs> 